Hi. Today we're going to unbox and rebox this 2016 Sony Bravia 65 inch X930D. Now, whether you're returning this TV to the store or moving it to a new home, it can be quite difficult to rebox this television as there are many packing materials and components that must go in in a very specific manner. So let's get started. You're currently looking at the back of the television, as there is no packing material in the front. As you can see, there are many components to the television, as well as many packing components, and all these pieces are all kind of intermixed together. The front of the TV is not protected by any type of individual piece of foam. Rather, it is protected from the top foam pieces and the side pieces. I left the TV in the box, as I want to check that the television is not bent prior to removing it. So we'll remove the crossbar now to inspect the television. We will then replace the crossbar and repackage the television. Let's see if she's straight or not. You're now looking at a side profile of the 65 inch X930D. We're going to remove the crossbar now to check if the TV is bent or not. Keep in mind that when removing the television from the box, you want to leave this bar on and whenever you're removing the TV, you want to put this bar back on. So let's see if this TV is straight or not. Now at first glance, you can see there's a slight curve to this television. However, this is probably the best example of an X930D I've seen yet. This is probably about as straight as it gets. A lot of the four models I've seen, as well as the previous X930D that I owned, had a much more visible bend to it when viewed from the side. Now let's start putting this one back together. First thing you'll want to do is locate the padding on the bar. It is the rather thick side, and when you look inside, you can see the bar, the padding as well as the yellow label will face the aft side of the television. Make sure you don't pull one side down first as the plastic is rather tight. Now that the crossbar is back on, we'll move to the next part. We're now looking at the complete contents of the box minus the unpacking instructions that were attached to the box. On the floor, we see that there are seven pieces of foam, three pieces of cardboard inserts, four box clips, and 11 bags containing a total of 24 individual items within them. We then have the bottom carton of the television, which contains a cardboard insert with foam attached to it, the two cardboard outer ends, the bag that covers the television, the television, and of course, the top crossbar. Now let's put this puzzle back together. Now the first part we'll reassemble is going to be from looking at the back of the television, the left side. So the first step Obviously, you can pull the bag back over the television, lock it in nice and tight. The second step is to put the cardboard insert in. As you can see, for this particular side, you want the foam to be on the right side with the foam padding that goes the full length, and this foam part here on the left side. When you fold it over, this will clear the thinner, the thicker part of the television. You'll simply slide it and insert it in here. 
you can see it fits in nice. Goes down the bottom. This stabilizes the teeth for flexing. The next part that we will do will be to insert the base plate. The base plate will go silver side out with the attachment points facing to the left. We will then take this piece right here, which has a cutout, as you can see, to clear the metal framing. It will fit right snugly up against this part here, you slide it in, One. simply slide back the outer foam, it's a little bit of a tight fit, it might take a little bit of trial and error. There you go. Now the right side has more components, but is simpler. First, we'll start with the insert. The full length foam pad will be on the left side, while the thicker foam will be on the right. Once again, fold it over and insert it into the fit. The next component we'll put in will be this back cover. There's a curved side to it. Make sure it's facing inward and towards the back of the television. The next component will be the large back piece with the small cutout facing the right side. You can slide this in there and of course there's just one extra bit of padding. Slide nice over it. Take it in. Of course the side part. And finally, the last few components will be the large cardboard insert, which will face down, goes right into the spot. And of course, the bag of accessories just fits in right here. It was originally taped, but you can just place it right in there. Now that everything is back where it belongs, we can now slide the box back over the lower part of the carton. Maneuver the box. Once the box has been fully seated to the ground, you can take your clip, insert it back in, you do that on all four sides, and the carton is now attached. Now the last few remaining items go in the box. These are pretty self-explanatory. With the thicker side facing aft, insert the items. There are actually a few labels actually on these that say forward.
Once you've taped the box up, it's ready to be shipped back, taken to the store, or moved to its new home. I hope you've enjoyed watching this boxing video of the Sony Bravia 65-inch X930D. Please leave comments below, and if you're interested in my opinions on this television, please see my follow-up video. Thanks for watching.